It's just been around four months since I've done this technique and my life has changed completely. And I What's up everybody? It's your favorite YouTuber, the spiritual bad bitch. My name is Anila Sita. The channel is Anila Sita 101. Today we're gonna be rating manifestation techniques, okay? And talking about things that I manifested with them. I'm trying to get you inspired, trying to get you to feel like the baddest bitch ever, like you can do whatever it is that you want because I guarantee you, you can do whatever it is that you want. And you can manifest anything, like trust me, subscribe to my channel, you're gonna be feeling powerful, okay? We're gonna get straight into the first manifestation technique. By the way, I just wanna make a quick disclaimer, I am not going to explain these techniques in depth because that video would just be way too long. But if you guys need me to explain certain techniques, then you know, drop a comment. Let me know which ones you want to see. Okay, so first manifestation technique we're going to talk about is the 369 method. I'd give this one maybe like a 7 or 8 out of 10. So basically with the 369 method, I have a whole video on it if you do want to know the technique and how it works. But basically what I manifested with it is a job. Um, and then another time, again, a job. I'm giving it like a 7, 8 out of 10 because personally, I just find it really boring and it's not like the most fun to me. I just like other manifestation techniques more. It works, so I will say that's why it's kind of like close to 10 because it has worked when I used it. It's just not my favorite manifestation technique. Now the next manifestation technique is a little bit of a juicy one, which I am going to make a separate YouTube video on this one, which is manifesting with an orgasm. So yes, bitch, this is a whole ass technique, it works. What I manifested with it is moving to New York. So I remember one night, I looked at a photo of New York. I think New York was my screensaver as well. And literally I did my thing, you know, with myself, didn't have a boyfriend at the time. And then when I, you know, reached the climax or whatever you want to call it, I just looked at New York and I just envisioned myself there moving to New York. It happened a few months later. It was actually crazy. I got accepted into a university in New York and I ended up going there for a year. So definitely manifested that shit with the orgasm. So this one, I'm going to give this technique a six out of 10, just because it didn't work for me every single time I did it. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like for me personally, you know, when I'm like doing my thing or when I'm with a partner, I kind of don't really want to be manifesting. I kind of want to think of, you know, the joy of the moment. The next manifestation technique we're going to talk about is manifesting with water. And if you want to know the technique, <laughs> drop a comment, let me know. But what I manifested with this one, pretty much my whole current life, I was monetized on YouTube not too long ago, it was monetized on TikTok a few months back. I now am completely self-employed and independent. And I remember I did this in December, I think, 2020, December 2020. And I had all of my affirmations on there of the life that I was trying to create. And what's fucking crazy is that I am living that life right now. Like I'm here on camera and like this is genuinely what I do for work. And I cannot believe it. Like it blows my mind. And I genuinely think this technique is like so powerful. We'll give it a nine out of 10 because wow, I mean, it's just been around four months since I've done this technique and my life has changed completely. And I know that I'm just going up from this moment, you know, like I'm not gonna lie, I've only done it once. I know some people, you know, they repetitively do manifestation techniques and that's cool too, you know, do what floats your boat. But for me personally, I'm a lazy motherfucking bitch. I like to just do a technique once and then let that shit go or think about it constantly but with like good emotion. That's just how I like to manifest. Because like I said, manifestation is supposed to be fun. So for me, it's not fun to do something repetitively. People have told me, oh, that's how you have to do it. I'm like, no bitch, everybody does it in their own way. So that's personally how I did it. But yeah, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Manifesting with water, super, super powerful. We move in on to the next one. So yeah, nine out of 10 for this one. Next technique that I wanna talk about is gratitude journaling. 
By the way, I just want to say I am currently developing a gratitude journal for all of you bad bitches watching my videos and for everybody who follows me because this technique I personally feel has brought me so much good stuff in my life. I genuinely love this technique. It makes me so happy and so I'm making this journal at the moment. I just wanted to make that announcement so you know what to expect. So when the time comes, you know, I'll just say, guys, my gratitude journal is out and you guys can be like, okay, bitch. But anyways, let's get into what I actually manifested with this gratitude journal technique. So acceptance into my dream university. That's one thing that I manifested. Another thing is a boyfriend. And another thing is a new job and a new place. So uh, quite a few things. And you know what's crazy is, I feel like the gratitude journal method is something you can do if you wanna manifest a load of things at once. See, I'm the kind of person, I'm never just manifesting one thing. I like to manifest several things at once in my life. And I remember all of the things I just said, you know, acceptance into my dream university, a boyfriend, all of those things, I was writing that shit down at the same time. It didn't all come at once, but it came at different periods. And what was really interesting is like, for the boyfriend one, I wrote stuff like, thank you for this amazing, intelligent man coming into my life. And you know, it's insane. Since I started writing it, I actually met him two days after I started writing it. And then three weeks, Afterwards, we were in a relationship, but this was like a while ago. Okay. I'm a single bitch now We are no longer together, but it's just to show you that that's how fast it worked for me I met this person in two days of writing it So it's really all about intention to the gratitude journal and then the next thing obviously was acceptance at the dream university I remember I wrote this like a thousand fucking times till it actually came true It took months and bear in mind. I was writing in my gratitude journal every single night So rating wise I will give this one a 9 out of 10 because it has worked for so many things in my life I feel like the gratitude journal connects you with like the future version of you like that because you're giving thanks as if you already have what it is that you want. I love this technique and I will be honest with you, I'm not using it at the moment. I'm just so lazy recently that I don't even feel like using it, but it works when you use it. So nine out of 10. Next method, scripting. I am going to give this one a two out of 10 because I fucking hate scripting. And this is not to discredit anybody who has scripted before and it worked for them because maybe scripting is your method that's awesome if it works for you but for me personally every time i try to do it it just seemed like i was writing a fucking novel i guess the gratitude journal method could low-key be considered scripting in some way but it's not because scripting is like you have to be so vivid with all the details and write like this the your diary entry of how your life would be and i just too much fucking effort for me and whenever i tried it i always didn't enjoy it and i feel like that's why it doesn't work for me because i think joy is such an important part of like manifestation so scripting definitely not my thing are we heading to one of my favorite manifestation techniques which is the 17 second method it is insane and i don't even want to call it the 17 second method because i feel like i don't personally sit there and visualize for 17 seconds it's just visualization basically this is my main manifestation technique by the way these days i'm so lazy this is the only thing i do to manifest and it's insane what it's brought into my life i'll tell you like how i manifested a video going on a really big Instagram page with like 12 million followers. Since I make videos on TikTok and YouTube, and the videos on TikTok usually do quite well, it's very reasonable that I could manifest something like that. You just still never know. So basically one night I remember a meme page reaching out to me called Lovely and they were like, hey, we saw your manifestation video on your TikTok. Can we repost it to our account advice? And you know, when I saw that message, I was like, this is a joke. Like advice is a huge page on Instagram. 12 million followers, they're not gonna post that shit. They're not gonna post my video. You know what? Manifestation time. And these days, I don't really manifest that much anymore. I just live my life and a lot of things come to me. 
but for this one i was like okay we going back into our manifestation mode and powers so i went to the bathroom and literally all i did was i just imagined them posting it i imagined what my notifications would look like if they posted it which would be like tons of new followers and people liking my stuff and also like them saying advice tagged you in a post I imagined it and then when I was like feeling so happy I went I want advice to post that video of mine and I know you guys are gonna be like oh come on like that other meme page lovely messaged you and asked if they could post it so it's like it's it was already happening anyway but I thought they could have forgotten like a lot of the time I mean how many people must want to be posted on that page how many people's videos do they see and they're like do we want to post this nah maybe we don't want to you know so i thought they were just gonna back out even if i did say yeah you can post it and next morning i woke up and they posted my video and i was just like i forgot about it completely because i didn't care so much if it happened or not i mean it'll be pretty cool if it happens but it's not like the biggest deal in the world if it doesn't. I'm getting super sidetracked with this whole story. So that's one thing I manifested with this method. Next thing is text messages. Holy shit, the amount of text messages I've manifested from people just through visualization. Like I will write the text message as I wanna see it. I visualize that shit. So that's how I like to manifest personally. Super easy, super fast. Literally, I do this shit in a minute and things come to me so fast. Visualization is the most powerful manifestation technique for me. So this one is a 10 out of 10, 100% 10 out of 10. I love this technique. Last manifestation technique that I'm gonna talk about because I don't want this video to get too long is acting as if we are also giving this one a 10 out of 10 because it is kind of aligns with the whole visualization stuff too because the thing is if you're trying to manifest something you have to behave as if it's already happening like i'll give you an example with my youtube for instance you know i started making youtube videos around a year ago but i was never consistent with it because i didn't see myself as a youtuber but the moment i did like the manifesting with water stuff and was like i'm trying to make money with youtube I was just saying to myself like, oh, how would a YouTuber act then? And the truth is a YouTuber would get up every single week and make videos. They would make content for people to watch because they are a content creator. So that's why I would say acting as if it's like, it aligns you instantly with who you wanna be. I think a lot of people, they already are that person that they wanna be, but they just, are so afraid of what people will say. They're so afraid of coming across in a way where it's like, oh my God, who is she lying to? She is not a singer. But it's like, you have to start faking it till you make it, honey. That's how this whole game works. That's the game of life, pretending you already are that person even though you aren't yet. Something else that this technique really helped with is getting rid of anxiety. That's a whole other video though, um, but that's something also that I got rid of by acting as if. I'm gonna give this one a 10 out of 10 because it always works so anyways i really hope that you enjoyed this video subscribe if you liked it like the video if you want more videos like this and thank you for all your sweet comments as well oh my god i literally like melt every time i see you guys comments thank you so much and i hope you have an amazing day